Okay, so with my Sunto clinometer, I'm going to be looking at this trembling aspen you can see in the background here. And I'm going to measure the height with that. Um, on the ground, I'm going to use a, a 1 to 20 meter scale. That gives me a chance to stand back further from the ground to get a, a better shot of, of the canopy. So it depends on where you are, if you're in, a, in really tight quarters in a forest or uh, if you have more space, it might depict on if you're going to be at a, 15, a 1 to 15 scale or a 1 to 20 scale. So here, I like to use a 1 to 20 scale whenever I can just to get back a little further to get a better view of that tree. Uh, you can see that white line that's out on the ground, that's my 30 meter tape that I've used and I've stretched it out 20 meters so I'm going to stand at the back side of 20 meters um, and then take my shot from there. Okay so I just hold the Sunto look like so and then I'm just going to stand back and look up like this um, so we'll get started. So I, here I have marked out 1 to 20 meters. Take a reading from the top and I'm looking at the upper part of the crown and we should stress that in this case with this trembling aspen I'm not sure if you can see it from the, the television screen or not, but it's, it's a fairly straight form to this tree, so it's, there's not a lot of competition with looking at the reading at the top of the tree. Some trees, when you get a really wide, broad crown, might, if we're not careful, we'll, we'll take a shot of that outside branch thinking that's the highest point, but it's not. So make sure that when you're taking your measurements, you're projecting through the tree to the center of the top of the crown, not the outer branches, because that's going to make that measurement inaccurate. Okay, so we're going to project through the central branches until we see the actual highest part of the tree. Uh, at a 1 to 20 scale, that is a little more effective. 1 to 15, that's another problem where it can distort us a little bit if we're not careful. Okay, so I'm going to take that reading through the central top part of the tree. 1 to, 15, 1 to 20 meter scale. I've got about 16 right on, 16.0. Uh, to the upper part of the canopy. So once I have that number, keep that in the back of my head. I look at the bottom reading. So again, I'm going to project through the long grass and see right at the bottom where that trunk meets the ground. Sometimes if I'm working with a partner, we can tromp down that grass or something just so we can see it. But in this case, I have an idea, so I, I am projecting through the long grass to get a reading of the trunk. And remember, it's not at zero because that would be at level. So I'm looking below that. My reading is minus 1.25. Okay, so I have 16 at the top, negative 1.25 at the bottom, because my reading is below zero. If I were reading at zero right on, that would put me at roughly breast height, and that would be inaccurate of a reading for measurements. So my formula is simple, it's just the top minus the bottom. And in this case, it's plus 16 at the top, minus negative 1.25. So we convert, that would be 16 plus 1.25. Our total height of that tree is 17.25 meters.